OpenAI has just announced one of the most exciting advances in deep learning research. Their new DALL-E model seems to be a superpower of GPT-3 and the generative adversarial network research, particularly we saw things from GANs like StyleGAN that can generate photorealistic faces, and we saw uh, GAUGAN also from NVIDIA where you draw a pixel map of a scene and then it renders a complete photorealistic looking landscape of that sketch drawing. Uh, also from NVIDIA we've seen GameGAN where they use these generative models to put the entire uh, Pac-Man game into a generative adversarial network, but it's kind of more like model-based reinforcement learning, which has a lot of intersection with this generative modeling stuff. So the latest uh, model Dolly, probably what's most interesting about it, is the unification of text and images. So let's have a sense of how do they actually do this. This image text alignment, I think is you know really interesting research. These vision language models, one of the most interesting things. So. Let's start with Jay Alomar's The Illustrated Transformer to understand how text is input to a deep neural network matrix tensor processing machine. So what you do is you take each word and you tokenize it such that you have a embedding table that's the size of the vocabulary size by the length and then the uh, width of this matrix is the embedding dimension. So say you have a four dimensional vector for each token and then say you have uh, J, Suisse, I don't I have no idea how to say that, but say you have these three tokens the, this um, embedding table will be three by four. Okay, so that's how you turn each individual text token into a vector that's gonna get join this uh, matrix processing machine. So the idea of self-attention, the attention layer itself, it's not that important to just basically blow up these matrices, do some kind of soft max matrix multiplication, and there you go, you're processing these things as a feed forward uh, composition of matrix multiplications. So that's really what matters the most. So in papers like attention is all you need, they stack these transformer layers together to form a deep neural network architecture. And this is like a massive combination of these matrix multiplications. So it's not crazy to think that you have an input that is the that are these uh, text embeddings, and then you process the matrix multiplications such that at the output layer, it's a, a 24 by 24 by three image net image. So you have these matrix multiplications, and then at the end, you have a tensor or matrix, more of a tensor because you have the three dimensions, we have height by width by RGB. So hopefully that was a good explanation of how they unify uh, text and images. Really exciting news, the Dolly model from OpenAI. Minor correction on the previous explanation, I accidentally said the ImageNet images are 24 by 24 by three. Really they're 224 by 224 by three. Obviously that's a much larger tensor. So imagine 20 by 20 is like 400 compared to 200 by 200, which is like 4,000. So 4,000, 40,000. So it's a much bigger sized object with respect to the input output dimensions of what goes through this matrix processing machine. So you have the input vocab size by embedding dimension, then you index that and now you pass in these, the matrix of the sequence length now. So you have this vocab size of say 30,000, it indexes each with the input sequence length, say that's 128. So then you pass it in, it's an 128 by say 256, the 256 is the embedding dimension of the vector. Then it goes through multi-head attention, and now it becomes a tensor of dimension, uh, sequence length by embedding dimension of the vectors, and then by the uh, number of attention heads of these feature planes is another thing they call this. So you transform these feature planes into eventually the size of an RGB image, and you can maybe even just train that with supervised learning, which is really what autoregressive generative modeling is. The left to right, it's self-supervised, but it's using supervised learning loss functions. It might still use something like uh, cross-entropy loss. Thanks for watching this quick update from Henry AI Labs. Please subscribe for more updates on deep learning research and artificial intelligence news. Hmm.